guys, what's up? It's your girl Keisha. Being away from school, I travel a lot. From home to school and back again, I'd like to think of myself as a pro, a packing light. One of my favorite things to pack when I'm traveling is my makeup, of course. And for today's video, I'm showing you guys exactly what I pack in my travel makeup bag to get the most out of your makeup. If you guys want any reviews on these products, just tell me down below. And tell me what is your favorite product to bring with you when you're traveling. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't be shy, click that big red button to subscribe if you haven't already. And most importantly, click that little bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Without further ado, let's get started. This is my travel makeup bag. It's my BH Cosmetics bag over here, and I'll leave the link to it down below. It only costs about $10, and it fits everything that I need. It has two compartments on the top where it fits like little items in your brushes, and on the bottom has the bulk of your makeup. As you can see, I have all my little makeup over here, and then all my brushes on this side. And then on the bottom, it has a bigger compartment, and it keeps all of your makeup secure right here. Of course, I love the design. It's almost like a it's like a faux silk type of look. Let's get into it. In the first little compartment, the little zipper mesh, I have a few things. For my eyes, I have my Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner, which is one of my favorite eyeliners, and I use it all the time. And then, of course, I have my favorite mascara, my NYC Showtime Mascara. Really inexpensive, and if you guys haven't tried it already, make sure to get your hands on it. You probably are tired of me hearing about this if you watch my channel for a really long time, but it's one of my faves. The next thing I carry is for my face. And for my face, I mean under my eyes as well, I carry my Sephora brand concealer. And this is in the shade 16. And this is the perfect shade for me. It's a tiny bit lighter than my natural skin tone, which works great as a concealer underneath the eyes. And I love the consistency, and it's hands down one of my favorite concealers. And the next three things in the mesh compartment are my lip products. So first, I like to carry with me a lip balm. And the one that I have with me is the Blistex SPF 15 Complete Moisture. It smells amazing like very fruity and it goes on very nicely and protects your lips from the suns which is great and then I love to carry two lipsticks with me so the first one that I always always carry is a nude lipstick and the one that I have with me this time is L'Oreal's Nature Blush in number 840 and it's the one I actually have on right now it looks like this it's a very nice pinky nude and it matches with pretty much every look that I have on my eyes it's definitely a staple in my travel makeup kit the next lipstick that I love to carry with me is a bright shade this is just if I'm feeling a little spontaneous or want to go out somewhere. It's usually a red since that's like my favorite. This one is ColourPop's Liquid Lipstick in the shade Avenue. It's one of my favorite muted reds and I have a video on this where I show you guys all the shades of ColourPop lipsticks that I have and I try them on for you so they'll be linked down in the description box if you guys want to see. And the last thing I carry with me in the little mesh compartment is a pair of tweezers. Now I don't remember where exactly I got these, the name rubbed off, but just a generic pair of tweezers because I don't know what it is, but whenever I grow, my hair always wants to grow back. So this makes it really easy to get those tiny little straights that come up in your brows or your little unibrow that's kind of creeping at you. You can be like, nope, stay back. The next compartment is my brushes. Now these brushes are some of my favorite brushes and I carry them with me everywhere. If for some reason I lost my entire brush collection and these were the only ones I had left, Girl, I would be just fine. I'd be slaying to the end of the world, okay? That's a little dramatic, but let's get into it. So the first brushes have to do with my brows. The first brush is a spoolie, and this is perfect for separating your lashes and also for combing out and blending your brow hairs. So my next favorite brush is my Morphe B73 brush, and this is just a angled liner brush, and I use this for my brows. But the next brush is my Morphe B19 brush, and this is actually supposed to be a little Lip brush but I use it for my under brow concealer next are my blending brushes or like my eyeshadow brushes I carry a few so the first brush for my eyes is my quo definer shadow brush and it just looks like this I've had this for years it's perfect for packing on shadows onto the lid sweeping a highlight on the brow bone and also for blending out shadows underneath the eyes the next brush is my morphe m518 brush and as you can see it's quite dirty because I did use it today it's great for applying colors to the crease and blending them out seamlessly and the last little eye brush that I have with me is my beach 
Cosmetics 31 brush. It's a slightly denser and rounder brush and it's great for once again applying shadows to the eyelid, for blending out shadows and also I love to use it to apply highlight onto my face. The rest of my brushes that I carry with me are my face brushes. So I'm going to start with the smallest ones and go on to the biggest ones. So this is my Morphe M173 brush. It's great for blending out cream products. I use it to blend out my concealer after I've applied it onto my brows and little areas on my face that need a little touch. The next brush that I have with me is my Beach Cosmetics 22 brush. This is their multi-use powder brush and I use this as it says for like everything. It's great to apply powder to the face. It's great to apply highlight to the face. You can contour with it and it's the perfect shape to get all of those little angles on your face. And last but not least, the last face brush that I bring with me is an overall powder brush. This is my Morphe E59 brush. I absolutely love this line from Morphe Cosmetics. It has some of the softest bristles you will ever find. This thing is just glides on the face. It's nice and densely packed and it applies powder like a dream. There is one more brush or face tool that I bring with me and it is my beauty blender. So I have it in this little mesh container right here so that it can always air dry when it needs to and it doesn't get all moldy and gross. And I just got this mesh bag from Amazon. In this little compartment down here I have a few things. I have this little eyelash curler because you never know when you need to curl your eyelashes. Doesn't matter how beautiful your eyelashes are, what kind of mascara you use, if your eyelashes are going downwards or going in random directions, it can really, really, really kill your eye look. I know this looks like a scary contraption, but this, you gotta have one. So the next thing I bring with me is a concealer, and you guys have probably seen this in a lot of my videos. It's what I use for my eyebrows, and it's the only thing I use on my eyebrows. I need to get a new concealer because I've had this for a really long time, but it's one of my favorites. It's just a mix of some Mary Kay foundations. I am in the market for a new cream concealer to carve out my brows, and if you guys know any that are great, definitely leave them down below. I would love to know. I'm looking for a new one really, really bad. The next thing I bring with me is, of course, for my eyebrows. This is my ABH dip brow pomade in the shade ebony and I've talked about this for a really long time it's one of my favorite brow products to get the perfect angular point so the next thing I bring with me is a little bit of primer and this is one that I just popped into a little container and it's my makeup forever step one skin equalizer this one is a color correcting primer the next product I have with me is a cream eyeshadow I love bringing cream eyeshadows with me when I travel because it's just the easiest thing to pop in your eyes and you don't have to do anything really else and you can also use it as a base for other eyeshadows, you can use it as an eyeliner, it's just one of those all around great products. The one that I have with me is my Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eye Shadow in the color 95 Chocolate Suede. It's this beautiful brown color with like shimmers of plum. I did a tutorial using this. It'll be uploaded shortly if it isn't already. The next thing I bring with me is an eyeshadow palette. This is my Coastal Sense 12 color eyeshadow palette. I love bringing these types of palettes with me because I can pop in and switch out whatever colors I want. This time I just have neutrals in here and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use some of these before. The majority of these are Morphe and BH Cosmetics in here. The next thing in here here is my powder contour. Just because you're traveling doesn't mean that you get a break from contouring. So I have my contour kit with me. This is my Aesthetica Contour Series powder in tan to dark. I talked about this in my makeup collection video. It has these beautiful shades. It's one of my favorite for darker skin complexions. It also has a little powder corrector over here in the middle, which I really don't know how to use, so I just use it as blush. But um, yeah, it works great. I'm so sorry if the lighting is going kind of in and out. The sun is going down, so I'm really trying to hurry up this video, but it might look a little weird. Anyways, whenever I travel, I love to bring three different kinds of foundations because I'm a little extra like that, but it just depends on where I'm going. This one is a new foundation that I recently picked up. It's my Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation in the color 60. I recently did a tutorial using this cushion foundation and I really did like the results. Initially this foundation goes on, for me at least it goes on a little bit light, but as the day goes on it kind of gets a little bit darker on my face. So I think I may have to use a lighter highlight in the center just to even out this, the, the color. I'm going to try this a little bit more. I'm not quite sure what my full opinion is on it as of yet, but I'm trying it out. 
The next foundation I bring with me is my Lancome Tint Ideal Ultra Makeup Stick with SPF 21. I don't know why they chose 21. That's really awkward. I've never seen anything with 21. But this is in the color 550 Suede C. I have a review for this foundation on my channel. You guys have probably seen it. If you haven't, it will be linked down below. With this stick foundation, because it is a little bit darker than my complexion, I like to use this in combination with another foundation because I have lighter areas of my face. The other foundation that I bring when I wear this is my NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Dark 2 New Orleans. It has great coverage. It's really light and it doesn't feel like there's really anything on your face. Of course, I love the little pump that's on it. I love to bring a powder foundation with me and this is my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro uh, powder in my matte powder in the color 260, I believe. The number wiped off, but I'll leave it on the screen somewhere. I hit pan already, but it's a great powder foundation. It's really inexpensive and it covers really, really well. Sometimes I just wear this alone and I don't have anything else on my face. Now, if sometimes I find that my face gets a little bit powdery if I use the powder alone or just to set the rest of my makeup. I use my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Makeup Setting Spray and this is one that I usually carry with me when I travel just because it's not like the matte one, it's not the luminous one, it's just a regular spray. It doesn't really smell like anything. It gives a really nice finish to the skin. So that is the end of this video. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you beautiful ladies and gentlemen in my next video. Bye! I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you lovely beautiful people in my next video. Bye!